Okay. <clears throat> hey, Ardal. So... Maybe Dennis can be replaced. I'm not sure how would it work. Uh, so we probably don't want two smugglers. Uh, that is not very good. This is a terrible hand. God. So, I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna play this. We can go Dryad Fledgling on the Range Row. We can seize a 5. So, that can be the Trian Boar. That can be Gobber Ziggurat as well. Unless it ends up getting boosted. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. The only reason I'm playing the Swordmaster before the Smuggler, despite the fact that the Smuggler can generate more value, is that... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, sn oh snap. We got some value here. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Never had your kneecap broken! It's because uh, I'm kind of hoping that the Swordmaster is gonna eat some removal. Damn, Swordmaster. A good dad. Wow. Adjacent power. Treason on this? Two point treason? What about my finisher of like quad broccoli? That's what the other Arda did, and that's how he won. If if he doesn't if he doesn't have that option, we might be in a good spot. Also, he probably has that dumb shielded. Uh, Ballista. So... I think we're just gonna pass here. We don't have a lot. We can still trade some crappy cards. Maybe, maybe we can justify playing a Smuggler here. I don't know. I, I think we're just gonna pass right now. He's sitting on 19 points. Uh, we gotta keep the plus 5 in mind. And that's a lot of points. Oh. He's gonna... Is he just gonna play here? No. Okay, fine. I need to just throw back some crappy cards. But also... No. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Go away. What is this hand? This is not a good hand. Alright. Well. Let's go to the fledgling. The immediate over would have been preferable. Okay. So we gotta play a unit that allows us to play Gobbler next turn. So it can be the Smuggler. Which might actually encourage him to give up. Of course we got that as well. That's nice. Could've also played the Ranger. And if this happens to you, you gotta play... Uh, your... Your finisher right away. Just, you just don't have a choice. <laughs> and I'm not going to duplicate it just yet, but most likely I will next turn. He's just giving me no choice. He's telling me, uh, yeah, I mean... I have to trade my finisher for a card advantage. Usually I want to use my finisher to actually win the game. Oh, he's playing his hero power. So we are playing our hero power. My name. I don't recall. The question is, does he have a way to get rid of the lock? He might. <laughs> and he's just gonna art though twice. <laughs> what? 
Is he gonna steal the elf? What's he thinking about? I barely, I'm barely in the lead right now. Bow before the power of the empire. Yeah, I don't think so. Hmm. If I started boosting this elf guy, maybe he's gonna be more tempting. And it's gonna be a six. Not to worry. The wood will make good use of your corpse. No, 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 no. That's too risky. Mm. Maybe he's gonna be like, oh my god, gotta hit the elf guy and steal it. But if he does that, I have... I can trigger the dryads again. Which is great. So, it seems like it's worth it, but it's actually a bait. Also, we probably should just play the Dryad uh, next. Also, I can play <laughs> Gabe, uh, Gabor until he plays Ardal. So. Nothing will stop us. Uh oh. <laughs> nice. Uh, maybe. Leave while you still stand. Let's try to kill this guy. Does he know that it's a, a bluff? Nope. Wait, what? Well, that was too weak. No, no, it wasn't too weak because at at the end of my round we are gonna get a uh, bonus here. Crap, we're in trouble. Wait. Bow before the power Shut the fuck of up. The why we can't kill anything? If only I was Skelliga. I don't know about all these guys. Why would you play Damien? I don't get it. Okay. Why would you play an Ardol and you think like, yeah, I'm gonna put this guy in my deck. This is gonna work out for sure. Or so, I'm gonna put in Stefan Skellen. This is gonna work out for sure. Like, if I wasn't playing this deck, those guys would be in the grave right now, if not banished. So, I don't really get it. I think we gotta play a Dennis Kramer here. That's the only wow, way... Before the power of the we might have enough points. Mm. Right, but at least, he's gonna play something extremely impactful. Let's die. Double Royal Decree. Nice! That second one is something else. Dealing more stuff. Uh, I guess we have to just put this back. I don't have an elf anymore. Perfect. Oh my dryad's trigger. Unfortunately, I have a dwarf. Oh, we can take it with Panther. Is he just gonna go all in? Seems like it. Why would you use these cards? Isn't this like stupidly greedy? This is ridiculously greedy. This has like a zero, ch actual zero chance to work out. If you're not against, uh, I mean, uh, just a uh, passive value deck. Unfortunately, we cannot play Gabor, because that would only put us at uh, 48. This is enough, because we don't have a Panther on board. I don't know what his last card is. Yeah, uh, we had some good cards in there. Uh, that. Okay, what do we want? There's some okay cards in there. That's better. So, 
if we replace this 5, we get a 6, 5, 8, that's better than a 5, that's worse. But almost everything else is better, although, well, Barnabas is still better. Okay, fine. Okay, we gotta think about this, because I played the tree on Boar, it triggers next turn. And it doesn't trigger, it just comes back, then triggers again. Right? Triggers. Comes back, triggers again. Of course, Smuggler gets played next. Not. Special prize, just for you, love. The big tree finish. Okay. Peace with humans. Just kill everything that gets uh, put in the board. It's fine by me. <gasps> no way! Yes, one HP left! What's the big finish here? Impressive for a barbarian. Well played. I need your help right now. What is this Calanti up to? Is it some kind of uh, uh, Avalok into Orvo play? That could be it. Kick this. Panther is okay. I don't think we need this. And we don't need two Panthers. Mages, probably? Hmm. Knowing the deck you go up against shouldn't... Well, that, that is actually pretty uh, important. Life is fleeting. That's why uh, Life is eternal. hipster decks, let's call them that, are, are actually quite powerful because you don't know what you go up against. Yeah. Well, at least, at least I don't know. What this is going to be exactly? Uh, we could just double dry at that. Maybe a smuggler. Your next move shall be your last. Oh. For the king. Well, let's do the poison. So basically, the meta decks are the decks that you really know uh, what they're gonna do, but they're gonna be hard to beat anyway. Them but there are some tier 2 decks that just... I don't know if this is tier 2, I just... Uh, this is the first time I, I see this. Uh, since the patch. But there are some tier 2 decks that can really surprise you and beat you hard. Ooh, so I don't know if he can boost it a lot. We have a way to blow that up, but this could be very important later, too. I don't want to play two, two smugglers. I think it might be just... yeah, fine. Fine. So... I would like... Gabor here. If he, if he can get Gabor, that's good. If not, I guess we don't care. Uh, that's decent. No Gabor. We go to round three. At very least, she shouldn't have a lot of uh, ways to shut me down, right? I would really like a Royal Decree in this deck. It's manageable without it, but I think it would help. But I'm not sure what to replace. It's gonna be tricky. Uh, we don't need the Dryad Fledgling. We have two Elves. One Panther, that's great. One Dwarf. That's excellent. This is basically, yeah, perfect. Yeah, we, we don't want anything. 
So in this case, Royal Decree would be just straight up bad, and we totally managed to uh, get a good hand round three without any help. <clears throat> Destiny is unswerving, cheated. It will Ooh, Sintry and Royal Guards. I am interested. Human Soldier. How many he can play? Mm, I don't have a dry in the hand. Go for it. I'm to play four value generators a turn because playing two is just not good enough. That's the only way to do it. I'm getting an extra. Thanks. Wait, what? Okay. I'm not familiar with that deck, so... I think we might just play a tree and boar here. Because if he kills it... Well, if he kills it, we can still get value from the Great Oak. Okay, fine. So, we're gonna have great oak value. Uh, we have a dwarf and an elf, so Sasko is going to be decent. protect the queen. Sure. Uh, I can just kill that. Oh. Yeah, locking that doesn't really matter. Might as well yeah, just leave it up. Just kill one. The queen holds no audiences this day. Sure, but... Okay, whatever. Show me the coin or sod off. Oh fuck! No! I'll show my mother she's wrong. Boost self by one whenever you play a Squirta unit on your side whose primary category is unique among other allied Squirta units. Fucking broken. It's a bug. This is not a Squirta unit. I just played a Squirta unique human. And it didn't work because Sintria Royal Guard, which is a... a no Realms unit, is already on my board. CDPR, what the fuck? I just lost four points. Excuse me. Oh snap. We have too many units on the back now. In the back now. Kill that. They'll have the dwarf and the elf. I can still play the dwarf in the front. Supply. Damage an unit by two. Two self by one. Okay, whatever. Uh, I can play an elf and we're still gonna have an elf in hand. I suppose I lock that, maybe. Also kill it. Humans are not trusted. You should kill something from the back. Not all the dryads, but maybe this guy. For the boost. Mm. 
I do so dreadfully miss my darling little sis. Tamaria, that's what matters. Bloody not humans. Huh? What is it? What just happened? Okay. So, the big plan is to play Sienna at the end and hope that she stays alive to play the deployability of the next unit you play this turn, which is probably going to be a Sintry Royal Guard. Big fucking surprise. I'm already uh, preparing my surprise face. And he's going to get <clears throat> 12 extra bonus points with that. I think we just solved the puzzle. GG!